should be thinking about him. Oh, don't you tell me how to look after my son. I'm sorry that I'm not nice anymore. But you know what, maybe if your voice saying be nice hadn't been in my head, then maybe I wouldn't have helped the guy with the fucking sick dog. Room is one of my favorite movies of all times. Despite the dark theme, it successfully showcases the complex relationship between the mother and her child stuck in a room for a long time. What I find the most interesting is how Lenny Abramson portrays childhood throughout this film in a very creative and logical manner. I particularly love the way he introduces us to the situation Joy and Jack are in. But before that, look at these shots while the credits are rolling. And the shots that follow explain to us that the previous shots were from Jack's point of view when he is in a semi-conscious state during sleep. And once Lenny has established the perspective, he starts with the shot of the skylight with soundproof ceiling, and here begins the voiceover, continuing with the shot of Jack sleeping with his mom. And I was kicking you from the inside, boom, boom, and then I shot out onto work with my eyes wide open. And you cut the cord and said, "Hello, Jack." This unrealistic childish fantasy is dark in its own way, that establishes the much terrifying fact that Jack has never been outside the room in his whole life. Since how long, you would ask? The answer is in the next dialogue, which is very smartly crafted as his birthday. And then we follow the routine of their daily lives. The film is divided into two parts in terms of space: inside the room and outside the room. Most of the film is from the perspective of Jack, so the things they did had to be from the perspective of a child. Since he has been living in the room all his life, he treats every object in that room like a person. Everything he plays with, or rather put as interact with, are eventually shown in close-ups. Jack himself is shown in focus with the background blurred out. or with the shallow depth of field because doing something otherwise would create a sense of claustrophobia with jack lacks when old nick enters the room everything is shown from jack's perspective and jack's shots are in close ups for the reason he is talking to himself and trying to calm himself down let's skip to the part where jack escapes when jack is pretending to be dead in the back of old nick's pickup truck and he rolls out of the carpet this is the first time jack is seeing the outside world Now compare these shots with the ones in this scene. The one where Jack is in a room staring at the skylight. The shots of Jack and the skylight are almost in the same focal length while the camera is moving. While in the back of the truck, the shots are closer to Jack and the shot of the sky is in wide angle. Lenny wanted to bring a sense of standstill when he actually is stunned to see his fantasies getting real. The shock of seeing the vast real world stumbles upon him. Even when he jumps off the truck, and runs away from old neck the shots are in close ups and they go from smooth to handheld shots the camera angles are kept low matching jack's eye level and only the stranger and old neck shots are stable and in medium even in the police vehicle every shot is in close up just the way a scared and shy child would look at people hideously going by that some shots only show the faces of the officers partially without any object or person stopping them from being visible Every movement and every sudden action becomes fully noticed. The voices are accompanied by a reverb and other sounds are vastly amplified. Jack? Okay, it's okay. Can you tell me how old you are? This is one of the scenes where the shots are choreographed beautifully. Let's take a scene outside of the room. Here Joy is suffering from PTSD and is unable to adjust with her surroundings and her mother is trying to reason with her. This argument escalates and in the end Joy lashes out at her mother who loses the battle. This scene has similarity with the one where Joy is trying to make Jack understand the situation they are in and he is not willing to listen eventually yielding the same result. Only this time Jack lashes out at her while Joy accepts defeat. This similarity in Joy and Jack having the same childish behavior in different situations converges at the end where they visit the room for one last time. Jack is saying goodbye to all the objects there and after he's done Joy mumbles this Room has many elements that act as case studies Shooting in a small location is equally difficult as shooting in a big one and the possibilities are numerous 
बट इन दी एंड देर ओनली वन शॉट विच अल्टीमेटली मेक्स द कट